What's up guys, this is Sape Knight, and welcome back to Dark Parables, The Little Mermaid, and The Purple Tide, Collector's Edition. Just entered Chapter 3 in the Grand Hall after I made my way in properly into the actual, um, uh, Prestino Castle, Palace, whatever, I almost forgot what this damn kingdom was called. Click. Bridge. Or what is this? Steamship bottle. Star shape and a crab. Oh, nope. Conch brush. I need a key to enter the herbal pharmacy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. King of the sea, one out of three. Oh, this. for the next one. Balcony. Ugh. Is that gargoyle head? Shell key. Five hops without a hint in under 60 seconds. Be five hops without a hint. Come on. Five without a mistake? Okay, I must have messed up on one of them and just didn't realize it. Be 10 without a hint. Okay, that was done. Put a puzzle under 20 seconds. Solve five without skipping. Now. Fast travel five times. Listen to the intro and all voiceovers in the entire game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that anyway, so. I'll have to break open the orb to see what's inside. Okay, I don't have anything. And apparently you're too incapable of just grabbing it and just smashing it on the ground. 15 out of 40. Rope. Blueprint piece. Royal family and a happier time. I guess the wife must have died at some point or whatever. It's a sketch of an intricate machine. It looks something, something, something. I forgot what it said. An ancient elemental machine of unbelievable power. It was used long ago for harnessing the combined forces of all the elements. Yeah. Okay, two out of four. Some weird, like, I don't know, contraption. Okay, tree shape, whatever. I'll brush off this dirt. I'll brush this dirt off, I'm sorry, to get a good look at the mural. I adjusted my volume level this time. Is it the sea goddess? No wonder she's so revered. She's scary. Those purple tears add a touch of the macabre to the mural. Left eye and bluefish. Just 
think we'll wait here yet. Ah, oh, whoops. Okie dokie. Now, how are everything... How are... How is everything else getting through all these locked doors when you have to have the key? And the key's on this side. I mean, do they open it and then un, you know, lock it behind them? And then why didn't they just take the key with them? That's just silly. Mallet? Blueprint piece? That pouch is too far down. I need something long to reach it. Hey. That's what she said. Achievement unlocked. Master of the Tides. Okay, that's, that's that thing. It seems the turmoil and conflict in Brasino ran... Oh, run much deeper than I thought. Give me that. Oh, shit, I was... Quick. Okay, I need some fishes. I'll just wait till I get the second one. Uh, sea anemone. Sea, uh, sea anemone fossil. There must be the door to the chambers of another princess. The water pendant is supposed to go here. Okay. I think I got one of those. Yeah. Change all the symbols so they are all the same on... Look, change all symbols so they are all the same one in the end. Clicking on the symbols in the side changes the symbols you need to change. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, okay, changes from, from this end. Sets at the end. shows up on the monitor. It probably will in the recording. Wait. Princess... the fuck? Princess... Calliop? I ca I, okay, sure. Calliop, I, I guess. I don't... I don't fucking know. It's a ship without a figurehead on its bow. Okay. Near the mast. Sails and anchor. Got any of that. Oh, I got that. Because I can just... Nope, stop. Yeah. Because I can just wait till I get the other thing for the thing. This painting captures a moment when a mermaid gave up her voice to become a landwalker. Okay.
two out of six. Fish. And apparently the king summoned the sea goddess, but something went wrong. Now you know my sin. The king is repairing that ancient contraption, but he knows nothing about it. He is blinded by anger. That machine could destroy him, or even the world itself. Well, don't do that. So this is the Chancellor spirit. Somehow you never get used to these kinds of encounters. Now, what was I looking up before I got disturbed? It was on the Chancellor's advice that Father summoned the Sea Goddess. She appeared like raging tempest and summoned a great tide that flooded the island. My sisters and I were transformed into mermaids, and Father became a monster. We may have survived, but our curse lingers. We have no feet to stand on dry land, and we are ever chained to the sea. Whoops. Need a proper key for the shell lock. Yeah, I think I... Yeah. Did pick up a key already. Toy ship figurehead. Okay, I got two out of four for that. Oh, oh and whatever this was. Oop. Sage, two out of six. To follow one's heart. Plagued by a family curse to take the form of a mermaid, Princess Calliope's only salvation lay in finding a treasure hidden deep in the sea. One day, she came across a shipwreck and saw the unconscious body of a young prince among the flotsam. I, I don't know what the hell flotsam is. She fell in love and rescued him before the waves could overtake him. Now, compelled by her love for the prince, Calliope became desperate to find the treasure and regain human form. She sought the help of a sea witch to find the treasure, offering her voice in exchange. Human again, she went to the prince, who welcomed the lovely, silent stranger as a guest in his home. But soon the prince announced his betrothal to the princess of a rival kingdom. Calliope was heartbroken. In the midst of her despair, she heard whispers of a plan for a royal assassination. On the day of the wedding, she saw the blade intended for the couple, and the love for her prince spurred her to sacrifice herself. Oops. The prince mourned her death and gave her a royal burial at sea. Calliope sank into the cold embrace of the ocean that had been her home for many years, and faded into foam. See, that's actually super close to the Little Mermaid one. Almost to the T. You know, is fascinated with the human world, wants to become human, gives up her voice, meets the prince. But the actual story, like the one that, uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Hans Christian Andersen wrote, wasn't so much of a happy ending. She, yeah, she did become human to try to be with him, but he ended up being with someone else. She went into a fit of despair and then committed suicide by jumping off a cliff. And when she hit the water, she turned into sea foam and just disappeared. Super fucking sad. Way to go. Like, Disney fucking... Well, I mean, it's supposed to be for kids, so you don't want to have anything super sad and depressing. And I started reading, like, some of the other ones, and they were also super depressing. I thought it was something else here. Like, one I found out about the, what the... Damn, what the hell is it? The Fox and the Hound? The book it was based off of? Super depressing. He... I don't know if I want to spoil it for people. You know what? Fuck it. He dies at the end. Todd. I got so sad when I heard that. I'm like, no. More than that, his first mate dies. And his second mate dies. And his kit. Or was it the first mate and his kit dies. And then the second mate dies. And then he ends up dying at the end. I'm like, what? No. I got so sad. I had the sad for a while. Toy ship anchor. The king trusts me. I've managed to convince him to summon the sea goddess. And the people of Persino will receive the full force of her wrath. They have kept her to themselves for so long so selfishly. At last, mighty Coquino will return to its former glory. So the Chancellor was behind this. You just found out about that when he told you he was behind it. And you kind of suspect something from like, two chapters ago. Okay, what 
am I doing? Okay, I got the hammer thing. I can go back to... Here. Oop, fast travel five times. Or ballad or whatever the hell it's called. Okay, there's the other... Whatever. So, anchor, main sail, ship head, and steering wheel, or wherever the hell it's called in a ship. Helm? Mast? Something. I put the wheelie dealy bob. Slide all spikes away by driving them through the correct colored space and size. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay, I, I see now. Seahorse. Just off ten without a skip, and whatever the hell the second one was. The five fast walking, whatever. Give me this. Give me that. Good sir, it's just plain rude. Blueprint piece. Someone remove the castle crest, okay. Click. Okay, whale and a dolphin. Six. The deed is done. The goddess has been imprisoned by the magical staff. Now Persino can command her power for our own interests. To calm her rage, I hinted that she might someday regain her freedom. But of course, I will see to it that she guards our kingdom forever. So the king has trapped the sea goddess. This puts a new perspective on things. Has she cast a curse on the royal family? More than likely. Click and whatever that is. Um, okay, I skipped over that one for whatever reason. Oof. Legendary throne room of Persino. Okay, I got that. Missing whatever that is. Strategy room, I think it said. Okay, and there is chapter three completed. When I come back, I will. Start chapter four back here in the strategy room, and I guess make my way to unlocking the whatever and pacifying the eel, I guess. So until then, this is Save Knight with Let's Play Dark Parables, The Little Mermaid and the Purple Tide, Collector's Edition. Later, guys. <laughs>